are the proteins. Okay, there is a protein deficiency because if you really see the muscles are the dynamic uh, tissue of the body where on one side they preserve proteins but when there is a protein deficiency they also supply proteins to the body okay and this ba uh, this actually uh, delicate balance is maintained when you are youth but when you become aged the balance is tilted towards the protein loss or the muscle loss so to address this we definitely have a tool we can we can be more active we can incorporate exercise in our lifestyle we can have proteins in our body, we can increase our protein intake, but with our diet and with our kind of culture, uh, predominantly a vegan culture or the vegetarian culture, how much we can increase proteins in our diet is de definitely is a question mark. On the top of it, whether just increasing the protein will be helpful, whether uh, we require uh, essential amino acids or the different approach to build the muscle mass, and that's why here the com uh, comes the innovation at hand. This innovation helps the protein in, in turn, it helps the muscle mass to build and also function normally. This innovation is HMB, hydroxylation uh, butyrate, and this is a molecule which actually is developed from an essential amino acid called as leucine, and it definitely has an impact on the muscle in terms of building the muscles, building the muscle strength, and ultimately having an impact on the healthy lifestyle and other attributes. To know more about uh, this molecule, we have Paul and uh, Dr. Jayashree here, and I request uh, Paul to uh, take us through uh, through this molecule, its mechanism, its evidence, and how it will benefit all of us to have a healthy life and to live our life to the fullest. Yeah. I learned as much as I could about India and about about some of the issues that may face. Indians in everyday life in, in leading the healthiest and happiest lives they can, because that is truly my passion, trying to help people around the world use nutrition and exercise and, and simple things to help them lead better lives. And one of the things I learned, if I could have my slides, just for a moment, one out of 10 people in India suffer from, from poor muscle health, from, from low muscle mass, from muscle weakness. I was really struck. These were the biggest numbers I've ever seen anywhere in the world that I've gone, um, and, and so I realized I think it's important that, that I come and talk about something that I really care about and I found helps many of my friends and patients and colleagues. And, and I learned some more, I read about some of the research that's been done in India, and 71% of Indians actually have low muscle mass and, and low protein in their body because of, likely because of intake, so, and also because of diet, but a range of different things. And, this is not just in older people, right? We know that as we age, we lose muscle mass, as we'll talk about, but, but young people, and, and I'm actually older than this group, I'm in my 50s, but even, even younger people in their 30s have significantly low muscle mass when it's measured. Um, and this is from a study of thousands of Indians in many, many cities, as I'll show you. So this is a wide um, group of people in India, young people, uh, including in Chennai. And, and interestingly, working professionals, people who perhaps, um, are more educated even, who should know more about perhaps diet and exercise, um, seem to have worse muscle mass than those who aren't professionals. And, and again, this leads to all kinds of challenges, eh? Impaired muscle function, weakness, all kinds of challenges in everyday life, back aches, inability to play with your kids in the yard or hold your grandchildren again or walk down the street with the people you love and the way you'd like to. And these are the kinds of everyday things that we found people with low muscle mass can't do. And, and they looked at all the different cities, this large study did in India, they found even in Chennai and many, many other cities, again, there was very low muscle mass in almost all of the people from India they tested, um, especially relative to others, but, but in general, what we use is cutoffs for low muscle mass and risk of all kinds of things later in life, like illness. So why is this? And so I read some about what the Indian Dietetic Association, the person, the people that study the diets of people in India across the country, they found that 84% of, of vegan diets are deficient in protein, which may not surprise you. It is something I think that we can work on, but actually almost two thirds, two out of every three people who eat a non-veg diet actually are protein deficient. So this is wide, wide variety. Almost all people across the year are having these challenges no matter which diet they eat. And what they found is when they did surveys, these, these dietetic associations, they found that about 93% of the population didn't realize there were simple things they could do simple things they can learn that can improve in natural ways their muscle mass, their strength, their ability to live a happier, healthier life. And so 
what, what I can read, having traveled the world and seen people from all over the world, but I think here more than anywhere else that I've found that this is really an emergency in India, this, this low muscle mass. This is creating all kinds of challenges for people every day in their lives. And it's something I think that we can address, that we learn how to address in other places. And I think we can do better. So, so how can we do that? Well, I think a few things need to be said first, too. The other problem is not only are people 30 to 50 challenged by low muscle mass, but we know as we age, we lose significant amount of muscle mass every few years, especially as we get older, you can see, when you get over 40, it's 8% every 10 years, it's about a percent a year, and a 15% loss every few years, every 10 years, after 70. So as people get older, muscle mass loss accelerates very rapidly. So this isn't just when we're young, but it gets much worse when we're older. It isn't just mass, it's strength. And so weakness begins to happen, and then the, the things you want to do every day, the things people want to do every day aren't able to be done. And so really, this is an emergency and, and we can be better. And I think we can do better, and I'm going to talk about that, and we're all going to talk about that today. Well, I don't think that we're going to convince the non-veg and the veg folks to change their entire diets. Um, because there was just a paper published, actually, that showed that the evolution of India's diet has evolved over about 11,000 years, since India went from a hunting society about 11,000 years ago to a farming society um, at that time. Actually, heights decreased and muscle strength and muscle mass decreased dramatically. They've been able to look historically at research, looking at, at different fossils and other things. So I don't think we're going to change people's whole diets overnight. But I think there's an easier way. And we've used this in other countries and other places to do the same thing. And now it's come to India as well, this opportunity. And so can we improve India's muscle mass and strength and people's quality of life more simply? And can we do it with something called HMB? And that's what we're going to talk about. HMB is a naturally occurring substance um, that works with our bodies to help our bodies use protein and make muscle in a natural, healthy way um, that we can benefit from and now that we and now you can actually get in a drink here. So this is an everyday common active metabolite of different kinds of amino acids that we take in our diet anyway. It occurs naturally in things like avocados and watermelons and catfish but you'd have to eat thousands of watermelons and hundreds of catfish at a time to get enough of this to do what it's supposed to do. It actually comes from the breakdown of other amino acids, and as we age, the amount of this really important amino acid goes down in our blood, and that's part of why we get weaker. And it's very safe, it's been studied in lots of studies, we'll talk about that. And so what this does is this works with the body naturally to help rebuild and maintain muscle so that it doesn't break down as quickly, so that people can be stronger, so that people can be healthier. It stops some of the muscle breakdown that happens naturally with aging, and it helps muscle build back up more naturally as we eat and as we exercise, or as even if we're just active every day. It allows the body to do what it's supposed to do. And again, you'd have to eat about 3,000 avocados or about 700 catfish to get enough to get the same amount that you can get from a simple drink. And so again, no one's gonna eat this much um, to do that, but this allows us to get a naturally occurring substance, something that's natural our body can work with every day. It's been studied in hundreds of studies. I can tell you I've been taking it since 1996 uh, myself. That's when it became available in the US. Um, I was encouraged to take it by um, athletes and other really people I looked up to that were really healthy when I was younger. Um, you wouldn't know, but just a few months ago, I had a major abdominal operation. Um, it was in the hospital for almost three months. Um, and if, if it wasn't for this, I, I, you wouldn't know looking at me probably, but most people tell me, but it's because of, I take supplements like this every day and this allows me to recover and live my life actively and dance with my wife and do the things I want to do. It decreases some of the inflammation that our body sees from just aging and stress. Athletes have been taking it for many years. It was developed for athletes to gain muscle mass without gaining fat mass. Everyone's dream, right? But it actually does that. It's actually proven to do that. And it doesn't have any side effects. People have taken it for over a year. I've taken it for, gosh, for almost 30 years now. Um, and I don't think anything's gone too badly yet. So there's a lot of research, a lot of trials. Like I said, over 100 trials, 30 years of research. I've been taking it for almost 30 years myself. And I know many, many people, and many of my patients that take it as well. And so there's, there's lots of research in, in thousands of patients. And these are just some of the examples. So this was a study of elderly women, 80 elderly women who took an HMB containing drink or a, a, a placebo basically, or a drink that didn't have HMB in it, and it looked at their strength and walking ability and other things. And one thing they found was the people that got the HMB drink, or the oral, oral supplement, had more muscle mass, more muscle density, they had better muscle strength, even, even in the elderly women, very quickly. 
They also were able to walk faster and further. When the, we, we do a lot of tests where we have people walk for six minutes and we measure how far they walk. I do it with lots of my patients. And this is a standard test and the people who took this were able to walk further and longer and better. And, and there have been lots of studies. This is another study that looked at how strong their hand grip strength was and found their hand grip strength was better, their ability to walk further was better, their ability to, to be stronger, the strength of their muscles was better. So even in the quite elderly folks, this helps a lot. And then there's large groups of studies. So the, these, these are meta-analyses, there's reviews, are studies where they look at all the studies and they put them together to see how it helps people, and this is a muscle mass. And if you look at all the studies in many, many, many patients, again, or many, many people, these actually are patients, these are regular people like you and me, it improves muscle strength and muscle mass. So again, this is a big issue in India, it's something I've learned a lot about in the last few weeks as I've prepared to come here. And, I, and I'm really excited, that's one of the reasons I flew all the way here was to tell you about this, because again, this is a big problem, and as people age and as people begin to not be able to do the things they want to do, this is going to become a bigger and bigger problem. And so we can do better. And so I think, I don't think we're going to change all of India's diet after 11,000 years in the next few months to a few years, but I do think simple things like this could be an easier way. And, and using HMB, this new supplement, is something we can do naturally to help people, help them improve what they need to do. And these oral drinks are now available here. And again. Many of my friends and I have been taking them for many years in the US, but I think it's exciting they're finally available here. And then I think if that combined with a little exercise, people can really lead their best life here in India and, and really have the best opportunity to do the things they want to do, walk down the street with the people they love and, and hold their kids and grandkids the way they want to do it. And with that, um, I'll, I'll leave you with this. Um, and I look forward to hearing more of your questions and hearing the rest of our presentation. Thank you.